Welcome back Team Unibot. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to perform multi-wallet fast swaps. Join me while I demonstrate buying and selling tokens at lightning speeds. To begin, I'll demonstrate how to buy tokens quickly using multiple wallets simultaneously. First click the buy token button to enter the buy token menu. On top there is a settings menu where you can set your buy settings by using the buttons provided. The first section, labeled select wallets allows you to select which wallets you want to use to buy tokens with. Wallets selected within this setting will all buy your desired token simultaneously when you enter the transaction. We will select and use all three wallets to buy tokens for this demonstration. Fail guard is a setting that the user can enable or disable where it checks to see if the transaction will fail before sending it. To enable the fail guard feature, click the fail guard button. If the button is labeled green, the feature is enabled. If it is labeled red, the feature is disabled. The increased latency when fail guard is enabled is around 10 to 30 milliseconds. We'll keep it enabled for this transaction. Next, I'll show you how to set the amount of ether you want to spend for this transaction. The buttons on top of the buy amount section allows you to quickly select the amount of ether you want to spend. When using multiple wallets, all selected wallets will spend this amount. To set a custom buy value, click the custom button. Let's set a custom buy amount. Inputting 0.05 makes it so the transaction will spend 0.05 Ether on every selected wallet to buy tokens. Use the buttons underneath the slippage section to select the slippage percentage setting used for the swaps. The top button allows you to quickly select commonly used slippage percentages. Clicking the custom button enables you to enter a custom slippage percentage. There is also an option to use auto slippage. Use the auto button to enable or disable this feature. Auto slippage automatically determines a slippage for you, up to 20%. The auto slippage feature adds a latency of 30 to 100 milliseconds to the transaction. Using a high slippage can result in your transaction being front run or sandwiched. So setting a low but reasonable slippage is important. Enabling auto slippage protects you from MEV attacks as well. I'll add a link to this video for users who want to learn more about slippage. Additionally, Unibot offers lightning fast private transaction swaps as well, which protect from MEV attacks, but we'll get into that later. The final step in buying tokens is to input the token address and hit enter. The settings in the menu save automatically, so usually users set their buy settings once and after that they can quickly go into the buy tokens menu, paste the token address and hit enter to buy fast. Let's paste the contract address and hit enter to swap. Immediately you can see all three buy transactions are sent and pending. After the transaction is confirmed, the bot will notify you along with the total cost of the transaction. This total cost includes gas fees used. Swap alerts include all the links you need to follow your transaction and the token you purchased. There's a link to your wallet's ether scan, the token contract, the token chart, and your transaction details. Next, let's sell the tokens we just bought. First, we go back to the main menu and then click the sell tokens button to open the sell menu. Before we do that, I want to scroll back to our transaction to show you the slippage. Because auto slippage was enabled, it simulated and used the lowest possible safe slippage for the transaction. All right, let's get back on track. Let's sell those tokens we just bought. Click the Sell Tokens button to open the Sell menu. The Sell menu is similar to the Buy menu. At the top, you can select the percentage amount of your total bag to sell. Selecting 100% sells all tokens held by your wallet, while 50% sells half of your bag. Like the Buy menu, you can set the Sell slippage in the Slippage section. Setting a high slippage can result in being sandwiched, so we recommend using private transactions to avoid this. We'll demonstrate private transactions in the next video. After selecting your settings, you need to choose which tokens to sell. At the bottom, Unibot displays all tokens held by your wallets and their current value. In the input field, enter the line number corresponding to the wallet and token you wish to sell. To sell all the Unibot tokens from wallets 2 and 3, you would enter 2,3. To sell a single token, simply enter one line number. Entering one only sells the Unibot from wallet one. Alright, let's send this transaction. 
Immediately you see that all three cell transactions were sent simultaneously. After the transaction is confirmed, we will receive a notification along with the total gains from the cell. The gains include the cost of gas from the transaction. Like by transactions, we include all the relevant links needed to follow the transaction and the token. Let's go back to the main menu and use the token balances feature to check the balance of all tokens from all wallets. Let's also use the gains and losses analysis to see the total PL of all tokens ever bought from our wallets. Token balances show no tokens, which is accurate since we sold all our tokens previously. The PL for all wallets show a PL of minus 0.03 Ether for Unibot from all wallets. This makes sense since we bought Unibot tokens and sold immediately and the minus 0.03 loss is due to gas costs and swap fees. The remaining value is zero which is accurate since we no longer hold tokens. That concludes our multi-wallet fast swaps video tutorial. In the next video we will demonstrate private transaction swaps in detail.